Hi everyone, uh, this is Agnes and I'm back with a new tutorial. It is of this long mesh uh, gathered skirt. A lot of you have been asking me to make this skirt and didn't have the time to do so, but finally I managed to. I'll be making a small size of this, but it is easy to adjust the, the pattern to make your own size. All you need is your uh, waist measurements and you will be good to go. So it is versatile. You can, as you see, this is my friend wearing it while she's expectant and this is purity uh, wearing it. You can wear it to the beach. You can wear it anywhere that you want. Uh, in this particular one, I used thin finger yarn that is so light, so which I actually prefer. I prefer the thin yarn, while in this one, I use the cotton yarn, which is a size, uh, a medium weight yarn, but I really prefer the light yarn. So it is up to you what you prefer. So we are going to head right into the video. Don't forget to subscribe. So let's get into it. So like I said, uh, we are going to use scissors. We will use two types of hooks. This is a 3.0 millimeter hook. This will be for the waistband. And then we use a four millimeter hook for uh, the lower mesh part. You need a yarn needle. And in this tutorial, I'll be using this thin yarn. It's acrylic yarn, uh, 50 grams per, per ball. It is really thin and light, so that is what I prefer. But if you wish, you can also use this cotton yarn that I used in the skirt that Purity and uh, my other expectant friend are wearing. I used about three of these. This is Alize uh, Cotton Gold. And um, yeah, it is uh, 361 yards and I used three of these for that skirt. So. I prefer this one. For the waist band, we are going to use two, two strands. Okay, so I'm going to be just making an illustration. It is easy to make. This is just a small piece because I didn't want to repeat the whole skirt. I didn't have the time, but I will show you exactly how you can make your size and it will come out fitting as you wish it to be. Okay, so this is just an illustration, simple to follow to make your size. Okay, so we'll start with the waist band, then go downwards uh, to the bottom. So get your tools ready. So for the waist band, I prefer to use medium weight yarn. So since this is fingering yarn that is very thin, I will use two strands. Okay. So if you are using medium weight yarn, just use one strand. If you're using very thin yarn, then use two strands for the waist band. So you're going to make a foundation chain, make a slip knot. And you are going to chain as many as you wish your, the, the width of your waistband to be. Uh, this I'll just chain a random number. As for your big skirt, I normally prefer to chain 17, right? 17 of them. Go ahead and chain 17, then yarn over. Skip the first two uh, chains. Go into the third chain. And we are going to make a half double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. So that's a half double crochet. Go into the second chain, do the same. Make a half double crochet like that. Yarn over, go into the third chain. Make a half double crochet like that. And if you had 17, so you would make a total of 15 half double crochets for your first row, okay? So your waistband will be 15 uh, uh, stitches, right? But if you want it to be bigger, wider, make it as long as you wish, okay? So we are going to row two now, okay? You are going to chain two. Then turn your work and we'll be working only in the back loop, okay? Only in this back loop. Only the back loop and not in the two loops, okay? Back loop only. All right, so yarn over, insert your hook in the first stitch at the back, in the back loop like that and make a half double crochet. Go into the second stitch at the back, make a half double crochet. 
and in the back loop of the third one make a half double crochet and you are going to make as many as you had for your first row so if you had 15 your second row should be 15 single crochet i mean half double crochets only in the back loop okay so we are now making the waistband it is be from one side to the other side and then we join it together to make you know one circle waist band okay so go ahead and do the 15 and I'll meet you once you are going to the third row of this. Okay, so I'm at the end of second row. You're going to chain two, turn your work, and we're going to work the third row. This is going to be the same yarn over into the back loop of that very first one. Insert your half double crochet. Go into the second one, insert a second half double crochet, and you are going to repeat this pattern all through half double crochets in back loop and once you have enough that stretches to your waist measurement so let's say if your waist measurements are 30 uh, inches or maybe uh, 27 make sure that you keep making while stretching this make maybe uh, 40 i don't know uh, 20 rows then stretch and see if it stretches to your waist measurements to 26 inches or 28 inches okay so this is what i have i will just this is because i'm making a very small uh, illustration skirt i don't even think it can fit a baby but this is how many inches i have without stretching it about 11.5 inches right but when i stretch it so I had 11 inches without stretching, but when I stretch it, it comes to about 15. So this is what I mean by stretch it to your, uh, about 16, stretch it to your waist measurements. So keep stretching, keep stretching until you have your waist measurements. If your waist measurements are 28, keep stretching until you get 28 inches. Okay. Keep making more rows when you stretch, make more rows stretch until you get your desired uh, waist measurement so we are go once you have your measurements we are going to join this together and for those who ask how it passes your hips put this cut on through overhead all right not through downwards otherwise then it won't fit so nicely all right so to join we are going to use a slip stitch so just join like that go into that very first stitch Uh, make a single crochet so we will be using single crochets not slip stitches so we are going to make single crochets in every stitch by the end of it you should have 15 or 16 uh, single crochets whichever number you had made as your foundation chain you should uh, not foundation chain your first row you should have that and I'll meet you once you're done all right, so we have our waistband. This is how it looks. This is the right part and this is the wrong side. So where you joined from is the wrong side, okay? So you are now going to chain one and then cut off your yarn, okay? So because we, we cut off only one because we want to use the thin thread, okay? The thin one, cut off one and tighten that up. So I was using the 3.0 millimeter hook, okay, for the waistband. All right, so now we have only one strand left, which is thin and light, okay? We are going to change a hook. All right, so now I'll be using the 4.0 millimeter hook. If you're using medium weight yarn, you will use a five uh, millimeter hook, okay? So, we are going to make single crochets in here just to uh, make it neat. So in that very first stitch, insert a single crochet. Go into the next row and make a single crochet. Go into the next edge and make a single crochet. So whichever rows that I had before, I'm putting two double crochets 
in every row. So let's say you had made 30 rows. Now you will have a total of 60 single crochets. So it's two single crochets in every uh, row or stitch, however you might want to call it. So you can see where I'm putting my stitches. Two in the middle of the of the of the half double crochet. I mean one in the middle of the half double crochet and one at the bottom of the double crochet like that. So do that in every uh, stitch and I'll meet you once you are at the end of this. So that's where I'm putting them here and then there like that. So by the end you should have a double number of your rows. I normally don't count but do that until the end. It won't really matter that much how many you have but let them be at least two. All right so I'm at the end and I'm going to close this off by making a slip stitch on top of that very first single crochet that we had. Okay so we are now going to work on the mesh part which is our main thing. Okay so you are going to chain one two three and four right so yarn over in that very first stitch right where we have our chain there right there make a double crochet this double crochet is very loose right it's not a tight double crochet Otherwise, your skirt won't look like mine. So make them, these are loose stitches. That's why I'm using a bigger hook. You can use even a five millimeter hook if you want that to be lo more loose. So chain one and then go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Chain one. In that very second stitch, you are going to make two, another double crochet. So we are leaving chain in between. Okay, so well, that was one and these are two. Okay, so chain one very loosely. Go into the next stitch, right into the next stitch and make a double crochet, a loose one. Don't make it tight. Okay, then you are going to chain one, go into the next stitch. Okay, here we had two, here we have one. Now the next we are going to make two. Okay, so make this is our first one like that very loose chain one a loose chain and in that very same stitch make a second double crochet in between we have chains so don't forget to chain after every double crochet okay all right next we chain one going to the next we only have one double crochet a loose double crochet chain one and into the next one we will make two double crochets i think you now get the pattern so it is one then in the next two one two one two like that so you are increasing after every uh one chain i mean one stitch okay so we are going to chain one so this is how it looks okay chain one going to your next and you will make a double crochet chain one going to the next one make a double crochet and in this one we'll make two since the previous one was just one okay so you get the pattern that's how you get you do the gathers okay this is the beginning of the pattern so by increasing after every one stitch you are increasing the number of stitches hence the gathers okay Remember to chain one in between every stitch to achieve that mesh uh, effect and let your stitches be loose. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of the row and I chain one. This is my last one. Okay, so I'm going to just put my last stitch in there. Yeah, then chain one and on top of the chain three. On top of the chain three I will make a slip stitch to join and finish this row off okay this is how it looks so we are going to make four chains very loose ones okay and uh, 
on top of that very first stitch the double crochet stitch not the chain we are going to make a double crochet okay then chain one in the next stitch make a double crochet chain one in the next stitch so we now have two so this is the third one make a double crochet chain one okay go into the fourth stitch make a double crochet a very loose double crochet to gain that effect that it has and you are going to make double crochets all through so chain one in between make a double crochet on top of the one on the previous row this is going to be our pattern for this row till the end of the row and i'm going to meet you once you are back here okay this is how it looks you already see your gathers there okay okay so i'm at the end of the second row chain one and finish that off with a slip stitch on top of the chain three okay so we go to third row right so you're going to chain four again and make a double crochet on top of that very first one chain one go to the second one I'll make a second double crochet and you are going to do the same pattern for this row and the rest of the rows okay it is simple as that you're making a double crochet then a chain double crochet a chain double crochet chain till the end of this row and you're going to do this until you have uh, enough length to where you want your slit to start from okay this is how it looks so go around 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 until you get to where you want your slit to be and i'll come show you how to put the slit okay for me i did three rows uh, on this other skirt the other i did about five so this is you see one two three rows and then i did the slit so this depends on if you want a very high slit or a low slit do until you are sure that's where you want your slit to be a length and i'll come back to show you all right so i now want to put the slit so normally you'd chain one and go on top of the chain three right right there but we're not going to do that instead of going on top we're going to go at the bottom of that chain okay right there and make a double crochet just like that okay so now we are going to chain four okay turn your work now we are going to be turning our work at every end of the row okay turn your work and make a double crochet on top of that first one just like that chain one going to the next one make a double crochet chain one going to the next make a double crochet so it's the same pattern on that this time instead of you know joining we are going to be just turning our work okay so i'll meet you once you're at the end of this row to show you how that is done okay so I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to skip one chain and then go on top of the third chain, right? And make a double crochet. So skip one chain, then make a double crochet in the next chain like that. Yeah, so we are done with our row and you can see the slit is forming. So you're going to chain four to start on our next row and then turn your work. Okay, and on top of that very first one, make a double crochet. A loose one chain one make a double crochet chain one make a double crochet and you are going to do that uh, till the end for every row until you have the length that you want okay you can 
normally I do 30 inches but sometimes I do maybe about 25 depending on the height that you want so do that and I'll meet you once you are done so that I can show you how to put the shell uh, at the bottom okay okay see you uh, once you're done All right, so once you're done with your length and you wish to put the shells, this is how you do it. You're going to chain two. Uh, that's the third one. Uh, chain three. So skip one of the uh, double crochets, going to the second one and make a double crochet. This ha doesn't have to be loose, okay? So make a second double crochet and a third double crochet. It's not loose, but it's also not so tight, okay? So you are going to chain one. And in that very double crochet, make more three double crochets. So that is uh, the fourth one, five, and six. So we have a total of six double crochets. That is how it looks like. Okay. So you are going to skip that next uh, double crochet, going to the next one after that, and make a slip stitch. Okay. So then skip the next double crochet and into the one after that make another shell so you are going to do one two three all in one stitch then chain one and in that very same stitch make more three so that is four five and then six then skip the next double crochet and go into the one after that. So skip this, go into that one and make a slip stitch. Then skip the next and go into the one after that and make a double crochet, a shell stitch. So that is one double crochet. That is the second one. Uh, three. Sing, uh, chain one then make three more to make a total of six so basically you are going to repeat this pattern simple as that repeat the pattern in every by skipping one double crochet and once you're done I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we do next okay So I am done. These are my shells, and so once you don't have enough uh, to to put another shell at the end, and you're right at the end, just make another, you know, slip stitches like that. And cut off your yarn. All right, so yeah, like that. So this is what we have. This is how it looks, okay? That should be your skirt. Of course, you made a bigger version, a longer version, but the pattern is simple as that, very simple as that, okay? So normally I would, uh, these are the shells and generally I love the texture of this skirt and uh, really, uh, happy that I came up with this pattern because I really love it. It's good for the beach. It's good for festival event anything you can wear it anywhere all right so we are going to put the waistband this is optional okay so i'm going back to my small hook which is a 3.0 millimeter hook so we are going to make a long chain that will be able to pass through your skirt uh, just to help you tighten up right up uh, the waist so that it is more fitting at the waist all right so 
you are going to make a long chain. So once you have your chain, we are going to put this uh, around the waistband so that you, it's more of a drawstring. It's a drawstring, okay? So that you're able to tie and uh, fasten your skirt just in case you want it to be a bit more tight, okay? So I'm going to use the yarn needle to put this through the waistband. Okay. So... This is our skirt and I want to put this right at the end of the waistband. So just uh, look at where you want your slit to be and this is where my front will be where I will be tying from. So my slit, is, my slit is on the side so you're going to put this all through on the top, uh, on the top stitches. So you're in and out, in and out on the top stitches. And until you get to the other side. So when I tie this from the front, my slit will be on the side. Depends on where you want to wear your slit. So determine that and then put this through all around. All right, so I'm done and uh, this is how it looks like, okay? So you can use this to fasten your waistband like that uh, to fit better, okay? So this is what it is. So it's just a drawstring. You could have made it shorter. You could add um, more design speeds, whatever you like. But uh, Or you can even leave it out because this is really optional. All right, so... I hope you guys liked the design of this skirt. I really love it. So cut off your ends, sew in your ends. And yeah, that's it. That is the skirt. So I can't wait to see all your creations. If you like the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share to your WhatsApp groups, to your Facebook groups. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Uh, so, bye. Thanks for watching.